Oh my god, I'm dead. Oh! It's like the Revenant! What up? It's Jacob, and welcome back to my channel, Jacob Games. And welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2, the epilogue, part number 11. Last time out, Abigail finally came home, finally came to see what John had built. And that's where we left off, and that's where we started. Let's go. Uh. Yeah, bruh. Yeah. We back in it. Man, look at the view. Look at the view. Use that water pump. <laughs> Use that water pump, my boy. There you go. Water graphics looking kind of... Kind of bad just now. I'm just going, you know, being honest, but... So where I got to go with this? Ah, it's just like it. This is just like whenever you um. Okay, auto save every time, really. So just like a camp, your regular camp, back when the game, you know, when when you play as Alter, you had to do the same thing. Had to bring, do the chores and stuff, and you know, fall the animals and whatnot. Cool, man. Get more water. What up, uh, uh, Charles? Charles, where you was at, bro? That boy Charles is a hard worker, man. I like him. I always have. Sorry, let's get back to the water pump. <clears throat> let's do that one more time. Let's get the water, bro. There you go. I really love this game, man. Yeah. Look at this, man. This is beautiful. Come on. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Charles over there hammering away. I see you, boy. You working hard. So where is this other water going? No step in the doo doo. What sound like a goat? Oh, it's a sheep. Okay, <laughs> I was gonna say. I say, why that horse sounds so fun? Pour it out. Hey, and then we got honor for it too. Let's go ahead and finish it all the way out. One more little spot, and then. We'll go and jump on a mission. We're probably gonna do the Jack mission. We gotta play with uh play with Jack and stuff, so I think we'll do that. That sounds like a plan to me. Cows are making all type of noise. Mooing. And them horses out there nay naying. Dogs are barking. Crows are flying in the background. All type of stuff. I bet this one's probably inside the barn. If I had to guess. What up, boy? No, it's not. Don't step and doo-doo. Oh, I see it. It's way over there. I don't get kicked by none of these horses. They may not like you very much. That one got a saddle on it, so he's probably all right. That other one didn't have no saddle. He'd probably kick you in your chest. Explode your heart. Awesome. Cool. All right, bet. Watch out, horsey. <laughs> I'm surprised they let us run. All 
Hi. What up, John? I mean, John. How you getting on, son? Jack. Uh, fine, sir. What are you doing? Reading. And, uh, playing with the dog. You wanna go fishing or something? Not particularly. I don't really like fishing. Huh. <laughs> do like eating, though, right? Because we gotta find some food. Come on, boy. Come on. Let's head this way to the stream. Okay, sir. Why you gotta be like that? I'm sorry. It's okay. Do you wish I was more like you? Like me? No. But... Let's keep going. Can Rufus come fishing? Dogs scare the fish. But... If you'd like him to, I guess. So... Come on, Rufus. You don't care if we don't catch fish. Yeah, I... I'm not very good at this. At fishing or walking? At talking. <laughs> but fishing will be fun. Sure. Unless you want nothing but beans again. No. I'd like to fish. And it'll be pretty fun. I promise. Okay. It's fine being out with you even though I can't say the right thing. And you, Pop. We should... Let's do more of this. Sure. I, I mean... Yes. I'd like that. Hmm. Pretty countryside, ain't it? I guess. Grass and the light. There's a lot of ugly in this world, but sure as hell is a lot of beauty. Yes. <laughs> You'll see it better when you get older. It's tough at your age. Just land and light. But to me, it's 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 life. I can't explain it. Okay. <laughs> what are you gonna be when you're older? I want to travel, see the world. That's a good idea. Then, become a lawyer and, and help people. That's not a lawyer, that's a... Are you laughing at me? No. Never. Just... Whatever you do, do it better than me and your mom. We had it. However we had it. We didn't make the most of it until now. Okay. Okay. Hmm. I really, really, really like their conversation just now. It's very real. You know, John... John grew up hard, man. And the kid don't know nothing about it. Well, he does a little bit. I guess I didn't expect it to be so far. We made it, bro. This is a real good fishing spot. Folk always say that. And hours later, they've caught nothing. Ain't you just the leading authority on everything? Well... Ain't it so? Well, maybe. In this case, it's true. I hear there's some real big fish in here. Big old steelheads. Hard to catch, but real good eating. Hard to catch. Get your excuses in early. That dog of yours know he's owned by a complaining know-it-all? Come on, <laughs> son. I'm sorry. No, you ain't. It's all right. Come on, let's fish. All right, fam. Where are we headed with this thing, bro? He was the fisherman, wasn't he? That's right. I remember Uncle Arthur taking me though. Yep. Arthur taught you how to fish, now, did he? Huh. Yeah. I suppose he did. That's nice. Oh, got one. I got a bite. I got a bite. All right. Now stay calm and start reeling them in. Not too fast. Want to set the hook in tight? He's... he's strong. Good. Now, reel him in. Stay calm. Give him a tug. Now reel. There you go. 
There you go, Jack. Look at you, Jack. You got it, boy. What do you think? How you feel? <laughs> I don't. I feel. I don't know. Thanks, Dad. You did good, boy. I told you this was a good fishing spot. Look at that. You did. Hey. It's a smallmouth bass. Arthur. I remember now. I picked some flowers, and a couple of men showed up, dressed like they was from the city. No one like that's gonna show up here. Thank the Lord. Yeah, I hope not. Where's Rufus? I don't know. Relax. He's a dog. Where is he, though? I don't know. Uh oh. I'll go find him. All right, go find him. Come on, boy. Rufus, here, boy. Ah, right, little baby fish. Bluegill. Throw that boy back. Let me come help you look. Come on, let's go find the dog. Well, this ain't like him, Pa. Can you go search the other side of the track? Alright. I hope he ain't got hurt. Come on, Ruru. -Ru. Oh, now we gotta run all the way back. Stamina is increasing, though. Rufus! Rufus! Uh oh. Rufus, no! It's a snake. I see. He bit him. Calm no. down, boy. And Jack, you calm down too. Come here. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do, Pa? Oh, Lord, gonna suck the venom out. Keep going. We'll spit it out. <laughs> Ugh, this is disgusting. Dad, Rufus, no. Oh, he's all right. He's a dog. Are you sucking? <laughs> Pause on that, bro. He's gonna die. He's gonna die. He'll be okay. We just gotta get him somewhere warm and calm. He's gonna die. Go get the fishing rods and the fish. I'm taking the dog home. Abigail. Can I get a hand? What's going on? Dog got bitten by a snake. Let's look after him. And the boy. Grab his rug. Is it gonna be okay? Jack, the dog is gonna be just fine. We never should have gone fishing. Sometimes. Sometimes. You just don't know how things are gonna turn out. But. But the dog. The dog's gonna be fine. It's okay, son. Yeah, poor Jack. Dogs are resilient though when it comes to snake bites. At least over here they are. It's a beautiful horse. Oh, Rachel. Catch a fish complete within five minutes when it's Oh my lord. They wanted me to speed through that. I was trying to enjoy it. Yeah, brush you. Fine, Philly. Yes, you are, girl. Super fine. All right, cool. All right, let's see here. Let's do a little bit of a uh, little bit of haying. I guess it's called haying. I don't know what to call it. It ain't raking. Pitchforking. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do some pitchforking. <laughs> Clean up the manuda. Yep. Ugh. Stanky poo. Stanky, stanky, stanky poo. It's a pretty cow. This is the part of farm life I would not want to be a part of. 
Really none of it, I'm gonna be honest. Farm life ain't for the weak. And I ain't that strong. <laughs> All right, cool, man. We did that. Yep. Good job, old boy. Oh, you can milk the cow? Let's milk this cow. Sorry about all the meowing. I got 300 cats in this house, it feels like. Hey, that was quick. It's like you never finish nothing though, bro. You <laughs> just leave the milk there. All right, let's go see Abigail. So you happy? I think so. <laughs> and I did good? You did good. So, <laughs> am I forgiven? <laughs> Never. <laughs> you are a hard woman. <laughs> Ma! Pa! Come out here! Sadie! <laughs> Whoa! Sadie! Sadie Ann! <laughs> well, how'd you know she was... We... I saw her. I you thought I... You well. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> uh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but tell me about you, darling. No, Where's Charles? He's like that. I'm a working woman, Abigail. I'm a bounty hunter, bodyguard. I protect the gold prospectors up in the hills. I'm thinking of starting my own transportation business. I was thinking maybe if John wanted to earn some money. My husband, he ain't looking for that kind of work. Took on a lot of debt when we bought this place. And you're working for her to pay it off? Yes. Sometimes I was. But I thought we said no more of that. No, you said that. What else am I going to do? I'm a goddamn man. It's legal work, Abigail. And I never got killed. It's hunting down fools for the government. Easy. Even Jack could do it. Don't you put those stupid ideas in the boy's head. He's going to hmm. do something better than this. Like what? You're right. Write silly stories. I'm sorry, Abigail. Really Come on, I John. Don't say that. I just thought if you wanted to earn some money how many times do i gotta bury you john marston never you ain't never burying me it's legal work that i can handle there's a there's something else micah bounty hunting is one thing but goddamn micah i heard he was up country or some fellow who sounded just like him. Killed a family. Bar a little girl who escaped. Leave Micah alone. Listen, I'm sorry, Abigail. I came by because I was riding by chasing a fella, and I thought John wanted to earn some extra money. What is it? Abigail, we need the money. Some fella robbed his business. You know, an accountant or something. Came down from... Roads, I believe. How much does it pay? It pays good. You know, the soft ones usually do. Okay, then. I guess. But Micah? No. All right. John Marston, let's go. Just you bring him back to me. You hear? Of course. Ooh, boy, boy, boy. You want to work? Let's do it. Let's work. You ready? Follow me. We're going up into tall trees. Oh, God, not there. Sick of that place. That's where we got Uncle from. It's nice of you to stop by and see the place. Finally. Abigail's back with the boy. He must be so pleased, John. John. Ranch? You were right. It's really something. I think I'm gonna ask her to uh, marry me. I got a ring. It was it was Arthur's. I found it in a bundle of things that I've kept. Oh wow, that's You're really nice. Abigail. 
Or it, asking her at least. Oh my! I never took you for a romantic. Yeah, me neither. But <laughs> it's something I've thought about, and I, I think I know. I wanted you. Okay. I guess I thought you were married already, long ago. No, not really. Not officially. Well, I'm real happy for you, Joan. No. You married? It made me real happy. You had a you had a bad time though, Sadie. That wasn't your fault, man. You wouldn't even be a part of this thug life if it wasn't for that. We're cutting off the main track up here by Manzanita Post. Manzanita. So we're coming Boy, we're just through insane. here. This moron accountant, Marshall Thurwell, been trying to live like an outdoorsman. Amping out here. He's lucky the Skinner brothers ain't found him. For real. Well, they might have. Whoa. Up here. Easy. It sure is pretty though. Must be it. Get down. Let's take a look around. Something's been here. This. This looks. Looks like a bear. Or something came through here. <laughs> Some blood. In quite a hurry. Here. Oh, he was from the south, whoever he is. Then maybe he's our man. If he ain't become some bear's lunch. Yeah, it looks like they went this way. Him or the bear? Hmm. <laughs> Both of them. All right, let's roll. I love the music in this game. So I gotta get strapped up, just in case. Wait, hold on. Come on. Come on. Got my golden gun out. It's that way, I'd say. Great. Always make me do this. All right, careful now. Whoa, calm down. I'm taking this real, real slow because I ain't trying to get jumped by anything. I couldn't track anybody, bro. I can tell you that much. There's a cabin up here. One second. Yeah. Oh, that's somebody dead too. Somebody dead right here. Oh my lord, Sadie. Ah. Uh, dang. His eyeball hanging out. Oh boy. That our fella? Maybe. Oh lord. Looks more like a local farmer to me. I wonder what's the lift of one. Is it gone? You, Marshal Thorwell? That I am, ma'am. I'm here to arrest you on behalf of the state of Lemoyne. You're wanted for theft, fraud, and avoiding arrest. Is the monster still out there? No, I think he's gone. Come out! Come on. 
Don't shoot. Keep walking. Yo, they got a dude dead back there too. Come on, I'm coming. Look out! Whoa! <laughs> Oh my god, I'm dead. Oh! It's like the Revenant. Oh my gosh, bruh. Oh! Lord, have mercy. I think he's gone. Oh, he gone. I come in there and kill you myself. I, I, I'm coming. Pathetic. Waiting to see if that animal ate us? No, ma'am. That weren't it. Yes, it were. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Sir Will, call yourself a man? Well, it's like Abigail says. That's one word for you. That was so wild. I can't believe we didn't kill that bastard. Gave him something to remember us by, at least. You alright, John? Yeah. John? Ah. Just, we always find a way to almost get killed, don't we? Mm-hmm. That's kind of the problem. Maybe it wasn't right of me to bring you along on those really heavy things. Family man and all. Seeing all this, uh, I don't know if I can do it again. I'm my own man, ain't I? I get to make those calls. I needed the money. You are your own man, sure. But I'm my own woman. And I get to say who I ride with. And I don't know if your ranch and your kid and your wife are things I want to be worrying about when I hear a gunshot. Yeah, fair enough. Those are fine new clothes, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I spend my cash on fancy clothes and... Uh oh Who's this up here? Is that... Are you Sadie Adler, ma'am? The bounty hunter? Get off the road! Look, I got great respect for you professionally, but if that's Marshall Thurwell there, uh, me and my partner would like to split the reward. You're doing what? Get off the road! We was thinking you might need protection. I look like I need protection? Uh, me and my partner, we're dead set on splitting that reward. And if not, well, we said we was going to have to take all of it. <laughs> Nope. Them bastards was green. Y'all boys dead dead. I'm looting them cuz. I mean, what you want me to do? Yeah, give me all this stuff. Alright, let's roll. Come on. All right. Always was a little dreamy. This is a cold business, ain't it? Yep. It does require a certain level of detachment. You ever think if it's right? No. I just see orders on the wall, and I try and fill them. And if there's other bastards after the same orders as I am, I get competitive. It's called industry. And if you ain't noticed, everyone is out there doing it. I guess they are. Man, that's wild, bro. Them two guys just lost their life over it. Uh, you said earlier you knew something about Micah. You gonna tell me what you know? Are you sure you wanna hear about him? Ain't all that back at your ranch enough? If I find him, I will 
handle it. Your bounties or transport work? That's your decision to bring me along or not. But, but Micah, that's something we, well, I, I gotta do, with or without you, Sadie. You know what I mean? Okay, okay, I know. Well, I'm hearing things. A lot of things, still mostly just whispers, but I think you might be pretty close. When you hear something real, you bring it to me. Okay. I'll bring it to you, but you think about if this is what you really want. Everything you can get, and everything you could lose. I understand all of that. Of course I do. Okay, then. Here, put him down. Go on, get home to your wife. Let you know if I hear anything about Micah. You need a hand taking him in? Him? <laughs> no, I'm fine. You sure? Yeah, I'll send your share to the bank when I get paid. Thank you. <sighs> well, that's that. Ah, oh, of course I took too long because, you know... Uh, oh, headshot both of them. Okay, but that, uh, I did that. Cool. Yeah, I did everything slow because, you know, I was searching bodies and whatnot. But, um, hey! so yeah, we're going to go ahead and just end it here. Thank y'all for watching. I appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed it. We almost got killed by this bear, dude. That was crazy. So, next time out, we'll continue. And uh, we may find Micah. Who knows? God bless y'all. I'm out.